Hi there, Matt Heaton here uh, to talk to you today a little bit about B minor, B minor, the key of B minor. Now I'm in standard tuning and we're going to talk about some of the, the things about B minor. First of all, uh, B minor is the relative minor of D major. It's the sixth chord in D, okay? And in a lot of minor keys, there is, you, you, there's a, you need to know whether it's a Dorian mode or Aeolian mode, natural minor or not, which all that really means is, does it have, is the sixth note of the scale sharp or flat, which affects what chord you play? Um, now, I can't think of a single tune in B minor that is not using the natural minor scale, which means it has a G natural in it. The difference being, here's, here's the regular, the natural minor. Right? And here's the Dorian mode. So, the, um, what it means practically for you is that you are allowed to play a G major chord in a B minor tune. So, that's uh, the, the, the chord that sometimes the, the, in other keys would be kind of a no-no. You can actually do that in B minor. Now, uh, talk about some voicings. B minor is one of those those uh, those chords that when you start playing guitar and you look at the the whatever the little chord book they give you, they always tell you to play this, which is just about the puniest thing you can ever you know you're 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 playing away and you're you know and then you're supposed to play that, which is just just sad and pathetic. Um, the reason they're telling you that is because the the full B minor down here. Is, is a bar chord, which um, is, uh, you know, a little uncomfortable to play and whatnot. So I'm going to show you a few ways to avoid either of those situations. Uh, what I, my, my main go-to is actually up here. And um, it's, I'm playing, I play a B minor 7 chord, but with only three fingers. So, and I use, I use 2, 3, and 4. I don't use my first finger on this uh, for reasons that will become apparent later. But, um, so on the 7th fret, 2nd uh, put your middle finger on the seventh fret of the low E string, so you're playing to be there. Then that finger is going to kind of lean over and mute the A. Then you put down your ring finger, same fret, on the on the fourth string, and then you put down your uh, pinky on the same fret on the uh, uh, third string, and then the open. E, you can take it or leave it. You can, if, it, if you play it, it sounds kind of nice. If you mute it, you're not going to miss it. Um, so that's a B minor 7 chord, technically. But it's got a really, it, because it has an open string, it gets a nice ring to it. And it's, um, it's easy to play. You're not, you're not sort of struggling with your fingers. So if we're going for, um, you know, the, it's a minor key, so our main chords are going to be the, the minor one chord and then the, the chord a full step below it, the seven chord I call it, um, which in this case will be A. And the beautiful thing about this is if we play our B minor chord, in order to switch to the A, all we have to do is you lift up, so this finger, the ring finger, is going to stay put. It's going to stay where it is. You lift up your middle your middle finger, you lift up your pinky, leave this one down, and you put your pinky down on the um, fifth fret of the third string. So you're playing an A chord. See? So... It's very, very smooth transition there, right? Uh, so I find that that to be a really nice nice start. Now to do some of our other minor key tricks um, that we had done elsewhere, if you wanted to um, go up to the D, down to the A over C sharp, then back to your B. So when we go, to, if we play the G, you could play it a lot of different ways. You could, um, in this case, I think it's because you're you've got this open B string on the other two chords. I think it's 
kind of nice to have an open B string in there, which I wouldn't do in a lot of situations. Um, you can also add to your G an F sharp, which makes it uh, a G major seven chord. Uh, why would I do that? Because it's um, those two notes, the F sharp and the B, are like your your main. Uh, that's your fifth in the B minor. So if you were to have that, you know, you could have a B minor chord. Which kind of gives you some kind of cool sounds. Um, so this... That's kind of the, the upper neck part of this. Um, other things you can do, if you want a more... So this chord is, it is a minor 7, it's a very juicy chord. If you want a more kind of less, a uh, little more droney, I guess, chord, uh, you can do this. So this is kind of like your your um, power chord fingering, right? You got your first finger on the B note down here. The ring finger goes on the F sharp on the fourth fret, fourth string. The pinky goes on the fourth fret, third string to play a B open B. So you have B, F sharp, B, B. And this time you want to kind of avoid the, um, the high E. And then for this you can kind of leave your, um, you can leave these two fingers down for all the, the, what follows. You can play, there's your B. You can just lift off the, lift it off. Now you're playing an A note beneath it that there for the G, third fret, and if you want to play an E minor, right, put an F sharp below it. So this is kind of like a, um, if you remember way back when we were doing uh, the G stuff, where you're kind of putting down a drone and then moving the bass notes around it, that's the same thing here. Another chord that I like to play down in this, this this area is so here's your you know this is your bar chord B minor. If you just play the the B F sharp and the D, you can either mute everything else and then you get a B minor chord with the so I'm muting the G string, I'm muting the E string, I'm muting the low E string. That's all done with these fingers, right? They're just kind of leaning over a bit to touch this string and then you know you can connect kind of, if you want a more I don't know traditional B minor sound um, so those but I, I to be honest I don't use that one as much I do use this however uh, the same fingering but with the everything open kind of like that so that's what it's a it's a B minor with a G and an E in it which should be I don't know Someone else can name it. Uh, it's a juicy, a juicy, juicy B minor. Um, now, the one other thing to note about B minor tunes is a a lot of them, not all, but a lot of them have a tendency to migrate to D major in the second part. Um, so that's just something to be aware of. Like there's the one, there's a tune that it, it, it gets called Tommy Peoples a lot. Uh, I believe it's actually called um, The Lonesome Bachelor. It's like yum ba da 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 So that's a kind of typical um, uh, chord chord progression for that sort of thing. So anyway, there you have it, B minor. Oh, and the other the other beautiful thing about B minor is if you ever happen to end on a B minor tune, you can always go and play some harmonics on the seventh fret at the end. So if you play the you know sixth sixth string and then the top three, you get.
get a nice nice little B minor harmonic chord that can that can impress all your friends who don't realize that harmonics are pretty easy on the guitar. All right, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope that that was in some way helpful. If you have any questions, please just leave them in the comments and.